aiming headers. One of the most vital aspects of scoring header goals in football. There is no doubt that this in general is a skill of itself. You have Cristiano Ronaldo who is the pinnacle of scoring headers and in general aiming them on target. We cannot, we cannot replace him. We cannot. But then you have I show speed. <laughs> However, despise that one thing's for certain. Since FIFA 22 came out in the competitive master switch setting, forcing us to use manual header aiming, it has become a skill in not only real life, but also in the game that we like to call FIFA. And I'm guessing since you're watching this video, you're not the Cristiano Ronaldo, you're more likely the I show speed. Silly! However, of course, your boy's got you covered. This is how to aim headers in FIFA 23. Now I do want to say if you did watch my how to aim power up shot tutorial then you would have a general idea of how you guys should aim headers. It's a similar technique and it's something I've been using since the competitive master switch setting came out in FIFA right and that's because it forced us to use manual header aiming. What you're doing when the ball is coming across in the air you need to aim the left stick towards the center of the goal and where the goalkeeper is standing and then just before the ball connects with the player's head you want to rotate it slightly to the left or slightly to the right to where you want to aim the ball and essentially that will allow you to keep it on target what i have found is when you just aim directly to that side you're more inclined to aim too far because obviously we know that shooting is semi-assisted whereas header aiming is manual. So we are used to aiming quite far to the left or quite far to the right to where the goal positions itself and scoring goals that way. But with headers it's different because it's manual aiming. Okay, So we need to overcome that essentially and we need to use a specific aiming technique and that is it. You're aiming towards the center and you're slightly rotating it to the side to allow you to get the ball on target to the side in the corner every single time. A final tip I do want to give you is the power you have on the shot determines how high the player jumps. And although there's not a downward header this year unless you hold under 30% power which won't allow you to jump very high, if you hold let's say three bars it should be in a good position to hit at the top corner but at the end of the day you may head it towards goal similar to I show speed in the Simon charity match however that is an extra tip for you hopefully you find it helpful that will sing on the end of it on coaching one and one on patreon.com if you want to be a part of that get one on one coaching link is down below of course also Check out my Instagram, keep in touch with the No Money Spent Road to an Event RTG series that's going on this channel, running on this channel, and uploading every single week. Check that out, but as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out, sign out, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao, goodbye.